All right, Nasha. You asked for it. Fit! This! <laughs> A big, mean-looking fish. Oh, are we going fishing? Kind of. But if it was that easy, somebody else would have caught it by now. So what are we going to do, Dennis? Listen and learn, Curly. Listen and learn. What are you lot up to? We're going to catch a fish. Not any old fish. The legendary pike of Beano Town Lake. Yeah, the legendary pike. Uh, pike. Legendary pike, eh? Walter, how does it feel to be the man who caught the legendary pike of Beano Town Lake? I just want to help science in any way I can. <laughs> When the pike comes to the edge of the lake, I'm going to tickle it like this. <laughs> Fish love it. It hypnotises them or something. I saw this man do it on TV. <laughs> and how are we going to get the pike over here? Here's the genius part. I've borrowed the fishmonger's sign and a bit of mum's makeup and. Ta da! A lovely ladyfish. Have I overdone the lipstick? Here, fishy. Kissy, kissy. Here it comes. I thought the monster fish of Beano Town Lake was just a legend. Me too, Bertie. But Dennis claims to have seen it. We can't let that menace catch it. Exactly, Dudley. If anyone catches that fish, it's going to be me. I shall become famous as the boy who caught the legendary monster. <laughs> If this gullnet can stop a cannonball kick, 
It should be strong enough to hold a pike. What are we going to use as bait? A clothes peg? Oh, not that. These! The what? The stinky old fish? Very old, very stinky. <laughs> right then, Nasha. You swim out there with the fish and we'll throw the net over the pike when he appears. <laughs> Go on, boy! Then? Oh, come off it, Curly. It's only a fish. Actually, I'm impressed. You know, it could be one of us. <laughs> 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 Walter's planning to put the pike on show in an exhibition or something. Oh no, that'll be terrible. Everyone gawping at him. I know, Curly. We've got to stop him. And I think I know the way to do it. Come to me, my fishy friend. <laughs> oh, ha! Here he comes. Uh, keep playing, boys. This is one drowsy fish. Okay. Uh, hold steady. Uh, heave! Oh! Uh, uh. Ew, yucky. What is that? You wouldn't want that in your exhibition. Here's your legendary pike. Come and get her! <laughs> hey, that's not a pike. It's not even a real fish. We've been tricked! <laughs> <laughs> you bosser! We thought there really was a fish. I knew it was too good to be true. I'm going to tell the fishmonger you took his sign. The legendary pike of Beano Town Lake can remain a legend. Come on, lads! <laughs> you know what? I'm glad we didn't catch him. <laughs> Oh, 
won't be back till Sunday. Are you sure you can look after yourselves for an entire weekend? Of course we can, dear. No problem. Don't worry, Mum. You just go off and have fun. I'm not going away to have fun, Dennis. It's a yoga retreat. It'll be very hard work. Remember, Gran will be coming over tomorrow to help with B. Yes, yes, Mum. We'll be fine, won't we, Dad? Of course we will. We're a team, <laughs> me and Dennis. Now, you just get going. Enjoy yourself, dear. We'll take care of everything. Curly, we're working on a uh, project. A school project? Uh, sort of. It's a pie thing. Ah, mathematics. Pi R squared. Mm, could be squared, Dad. <laughs> or it could be round. <laughs> Thanks for letting me do this here, Dan. My mum's banned me from our kitchen. Not surprising, seeing as your last pie-making effort blew out the windows. I just used a bit too much yeast, that's all. Hang on. Here's the instructions. Uh, Insta Pie. The pie in a box for delicious pies in seconds. Just add water. Just add water? Boring. I'm going to find some stuff to spice it up a bit. Come on, Nasha. Dairy-style whipped cream, lemon-flavoured pie-making product, meringue-type pie-topping stuff and pork sausage flavour enhancer. Pork sausage flavour enhancer? Isn't this meant to be a lemon meringue pie? It's not just for us, right? It's for Nasha too. <laughs> Never heard of lemon meringue and sausage pie before. There's always a first time. <gasps> Dennis, what did you just add? Bulk foodstuff super booster. Well, it's super boosting the pie right out of the basin. Quick, to the bathroom! <laughs> this stuff's magic. All we need now is water. Oh! <gasps> Krishna Vashti Rubber Spine Pose is a level one exercise designed to bring about total relaxation. So clear your mind and just relax. <laughs> relax? Oh, easy for you to say. <laughs> paper clip was designed to fasten labels to garments and textiles. The double bend single manifold paper clip was a great step. Dennis! Invented by Hiram E. Bitbark in 1975. Dennis! Whoa! 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 Ladies, we move on to the inverted lotus blossom. Look deeply into your inner self. Think beautiful thoughts and let yourself go. <laughs> Everything running smoothly, I see. No problem, Gran. If this isn't a problem, Dennis, I'd like to know what is. Uh, where's B? 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 <laughs> mm, mm. <laughs> Curly, pipe! 
Some nice chocolate. <laughs> chuck, 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 chuck. You're in big trouble, Dennis. Hey, what am I saying? We're in big trouble. No problem, Dad. I've already got an idea about cleaning up this mess. No, it was one of your ideas that made this mess in the first place. We'll clean it up my way. You're lucky your mum's away for another day. <laughs> Oh, it's good for fathers and sons to bond. I don't overdo it, though. And anyway, they might need me. Uh, the, uh... Oh, Dennis, guess what? I'm coming home. Right now. Well, this yoga thing isn't as relaxing as I thought. And anyway, once you've done one inverted lotus blossom, you've done them all. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Just in time for you to make me dinner. <laughs> Mum's coming back. Well, of course she is. She lives here. No, I mean now. She's catching the next train and she wants us to make her dinner. Well, what are you waiting for? You lot get cleaning. I'll head her off. Dennis! I have an idea, Dad. <laughs> Yo -hoo! Hi, Gran! <gasps> oh, 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 not again! <laughs> oh, 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 my! I never had that effect on anyone before. Oh, they call it the inverted lotus blossom. It's supposed to be very relaxing. It doesn't look it. But don't worry. I know just the thing. We'll find you a chiropractor. A whatopractor? Someone will give you a nice soothing massage. <laughs> See? I told you. It's working, Dad. But will we get it finished before Mum gets back? I told her we were going to look after the house, not totally trash it. This isn't the way home. Where are you taking me, Gran? The hospital. Like I said, you need a chiropractor. No, I just need to be home with my family. We can't let Dennis and his dad see you like this. Oh, think of the shock to their systems. Hurry, Dennis. We're running out of time. There's nothing else for it, Nasha. You've got to help me. <laughs> You do the stairs while I do upstairs. <laughs> See, I knew you'd like pork sausage flavour enhancer. No, the chiropractor's office is closed until Monday. Just take me home, Gran. Uh, are you sure? Oh, we could try somewhere else. Take me home! OK, but I've got a feeling you're not going to like it. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, it's so good to be home. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh, yoga classes are fine. But there's nothing like coming back to your own lovely, peaceful home. That was close, Dennis. Too close, Gran. But at least everything's under control now. Is that 
what I think it is. It is! <gasps> oh, way, hey! The coolest computer game console ever! It's not even out till next week. Father knows the boss at the Way Hey factory. <laughs> it's here in Beano Town, you know. Yeah, I took the factory tour. They've got demo models. It's ace. How about giving them a game? All right, but let's make it interesting. Anyone I beat has to come to after school club with us. Oh, yes, it's fun. Uh, we're doing form filling today <laughs> and tidying. And cooking. Yikes! They should call it worse than school club. As long as you win, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Press play, Walter. Please, please, please. OK. The game's Rock Guitar Legend. You sure? I always win at Rock Guitar Legend. Absolutely. Here goes. I input the game code and Rock Guitar Legend becomes Air Violin Legend. <laughs> What's the game this time? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master. Oh, my favourite! <laughs> I didn't know he could moonwalk. I win again. Easy when you know the dancers that score the most points. <laughs> How do you know that? Why you're so good, you turn games into homework. Are you talking or playing, Dennis? Or have you just turned chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Walter. Let's make this really interesting. If I win, Pie Face and Curly go free. If I lose, I'll go for the rest of the year. <laughs> But I should be allowed to do some homework, too. Lend me a manual and I'll meet you at After School Club. Unless you're chicken, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can say it again. You don't know again. Like... It's a deal. But if you don't show up, the whole of Beano Town will know you're chicken. <laughs> Was just buying time. The factory's in Beano Town, right? <laughs> if I can sneak some practice time on a demo model, I'll have a chance of beating Walter. Huh? It's a long shot, but I can't let Curly and Pie Face down. Let's get on the next factory tour. <laughs> Welcome to After School Club. First, form fill-in. Every good citizen should be able to complete a form neatly. <laughs> oh. <gasps> As you can see, the factory is fitted with the latest high-tech security. What about the way, hey? Are you going to show us a way, hey? And to protect the delicate machinery, a super advanced climate control system. I heard you've got demo models! Indeed. Here is the very first demo model of the way, hey. Anybody mind if I have first go? <laughs> this model is for display only. This is no good! We've got to get our hands on a way, hey! Hmm... A good city 
citizen's home is a dust-free home. This is where they make the way. There's got to be a finished one in here somewhere. system alerted us the moment you entered an unauthorized area. Your every move was monitored and analyzed. We were impressed. Very impressed. Y you were? Yes. I just want to ask you one question. How would you like to star in our next game? Our top designer has been working flat out, creating the environment and characters based on your special moves. <laughs> we, we thought we'd call the game Grand Dinismo. <laughs> Excellent! And I'll give it a live test! If you want to join After School Club, you'll have to come back next week. He'll be here, Mrs Creature. I'm about to make sure of it. What's it going to be, Dennis? Rock guitar legend? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master? Grand Dennis Moe! Huh? I'll take you all on! Ready? Game on! Dennis must want to come to After School Club forever! Tell us what to do, Walter, and we'll thrash him! Uh, um, I don't know what to do! I've never seen this game before! <laughs>
nice pot of tea. Check. Plenty of cream cakes. Check. Box of tissues. Check. Oh, all set to watch my lovely old-fashioned romance movie. <sighs> Dearest Nigel, don't ever leave me. Oh, Felicity, don't speak. Just oh, a full-on body slam. Then a spinning bulldog. <laughs> you don't mind, do you, Mum? It's wrestling, live from Beano Town Conference Centre. Yes, I do mind. Give me that. But, Mum, Mr. Magnifico's on. He's our favourite. Yay! I don't care. It's a lovely afternoon. Go and play outside. Oh, hello, dear. Looking forward to the rubber band and paperclip dinner tonight? Mm hmm. Can't wait. Just going through my speech. Mm hmm. Apparently, Hiram Big Bucks himself is going to be there. Really? The company owner? At the dinner? Yes. And my boss, Mr Scrimp, says that if my speech doesn't go down well, I'll be demoted to the drawing pin division. That's nice, dear. So if I can just turn this down a bit while I practice... Uh, excuse me, I was watching that. It's lovely out. Go and practice your speech in the garden. Was it not Shakespeare who said, a rubber band? A rubber band. Twisty Tornado, you and the Pie Man of Doom better watch out. Here comes the Prime Minister and the Nasherizer's special move. The Flying Fankling with Twist. My kingdom for a rubber... dog. Nasher! Of course, darling. How could they not? You're young. <laughs> Goodness, what now? <coughs> Mum, Nash has hurt a tooth in a freak wrestling accident. All right, let me see. Oh, Nasha, you better take him to the vet, Dennis. All right, Mum, see ya. And you, back in the garden. Now! Yes, dear, right away, dear. Put two drops in its water and your goldfish won't feel off colour for long. Right then, young man. What seems to be the problem? Uh, it's his tooth. He had a bit of an accident. Hmm. No problem. You wait here and I'll take a look at him. Now then, let's see those teeth. Goodness me! Let me know which one's sore. <coughs> yeah. I think we've found the little rascal. <coughs> Nasha! What's she doing to me, best mate? Don't worry, everything's fine. I'm just going to give him something for the pain. Now, hold still. I'm going to knock you out with a little laughing gas. I don't think so. Who begins? Sorry, Dudley, it's an emergency. I'll give it back later. <sighs> you little pests. You just wait. Ah! Oh, yeah. Oopsie. We should be able to lose the dentist in here. Oh, wow! Nasha, can you believe where we've ended up? It's the conference centre where the wrestling's on! Yes. Look, it's Mr Magnifico! Yes. Yes. Right, where are those menaces on wheels? Uh-oh! In here, Nasha! Just a wild guess, Nasha, but I'd say Dad's firm are having their dinner here. Let's see if we can find him. <gasps> Maybe not. Quick, onto the table. Uh, Mr Big Bucks and I are looking forward to your speech. What's his name? Last year's speaker was brilliant. Uh, who was it again? Oh, yes, me. Oh. <laughs> 
Are you all right, Nasha? I'm not surprised you've got indigestion. The cylinder's probably leaking. A praise silence for the manager of the rubber band and paperclip division. Uh, what's his name? You'll be fine. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honour to be in the presence of some of the legends in the world of rubber bands and paper clips here tonight. Hang on in there, Nasha. With a bit of luck, Dad's speech will send them to sleep. Of the first coated paper clips. Nasha! Corrosion resistant and yet maintains the malleability of the standard. Many people I know have a small pot upon their desk in which they keep a selection of rubber bands for a situation which may arise which they have not yet worked out. And that is why I firmly believe that we in the rubber band and paperclip community should stick together. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> stick together. <laughs> Uh, you know, well, thank you very much. I, I didn't think it was that funny, but it's actually funnier than I thought. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, thank you. That's too much. <laughs> Dennis! <laughs> <laughs> that hairy bat attacked me. It was a mistake, Mr. Scrimp. He didn't mean to. <laughs> Please don't send me to the drawing pin division. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Do excuse us, gentlemen. <laughs> nice speech, Dad. <laughs> Behind here! <laughs> <laughs> Wait till I get hold of the little pest! <laughs> <laughs> and his horrible dog! <laughs> <laughs> You think I look funny, do you? I'll have you know that I designed this costume myself. <laughs> no one laughs at Mr. Magnifico. Stop it, Rohan! <laughs> Mr. Scrimp, Mr. Big Box, <laughs> how can I ever apologize? <laughs> apologize? What for? Great, <laughs> wonderful conference, Scrimp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Mr. Big Box. <laughs> 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 Great speech, what's his name? <laughs> In fact, the funniest speech I ever heard. <laughs> Make sure this man gets a bonus. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> would this be a good time <laughs> to ask you for tickets to the wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> Tickets! <laughs> of course, Dennis! <laughs> Here, you'll need money for drinks and eats, too! <laughs> Take me wallet! <laughs> and now for the main event, ladies and gentlemen, defending world champion Mr. Magnifico versus the fearsome face dancer, Freddy Fernandez! Magnifico looking for a way in, but, but wait, <laughs> something seems to be the matter with Magnifico. He's, he's laughing. Fadoo is laughing. <laughs> oh, oh Nasha. <laughs> <laughs> Right, 
class, before we finish our science lesson, it's homework time. And I want you all to design and make something useful. Pie face, what are you going to make? Uh, a pie making machine? Curly? A boomerang ball. It always comes back. <sighs> Walter? A clockwork tin opener, Mrs. Creature. Oh, I was hoping for something a little more imaginative from you. No, no wait. What I meant to say was... A robot! Yes, a robot to help keep the house and garden tidy. <laughs> Wonderful, Walter. And Dennis, what are you going to make? A robot! And I had the idea first. Never mind who had the idea first, Dennis. You and Walter can both make robots. <laughs> well, we've used up everything in here, Nasha. But we're still short of a few vital parts. What? I could have sworn it. Ah, just that ticket. Speak and span. What? Who? How? Dennis! So, uh, finished making your robot yet, Walter? Actually, I sent my design to a friend of father's. His factory people built it for me. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. He's arrived. Dennis, meet Walter Bolt. <laughs> wow. I, I mean, uh, what a pile of junk. Wait till you see my robot. Hey, Denbot! <laughs> Interesting. What do you think, Walter Bot? Sensors indicate 15% rubber bands and paper clips, 85% rubbish. Recycled parts, actually. And anyway, that tin can may look good, but what does it do? I am programmed to execute garden and household chores, from digging to dusting. A dusting robot? Very cool. My robot's programmed for fun. Denbot, build a skateboard ramp. Skateboard ramp. Easy peasy. Wow! That's cool! Denbot rocks! Denbot rocks! Bot. This is just the sort of thing he's programmed to deal with. Close. Finished. Fantastic. Thank you, Walter. And as for you, Dennis, I'll want a word with you when I get back. I'll teach that jumped up rust bucket. Hey, where's he going now? To paint your treehouse. <laughs> Right! This is war! Ready? Steady? Fire! No delays! Must complete task! Emergency! 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 
right? No way! That's Dinbot! Oh no! It's a horrible mixture of the two! It's. it's a Walter Dinbot! You mean a Den Walter Bot? Hang on, where's it off to? My school to school! School is good! School is good, eh? It takes after you, all right. Come back! There's no school on Saturday! No school on Saturday. Must go to treehouse. Have fun. No, must go to school. Do lessons. School is good. We've got to stop it. I mean, what if it wrecks the school? Don't worry. I'm on it. Curly, there's a giant two-headed robot headed towards the school. Get Pieface and meet me there. And bring your science projects. Going on, Dan? Yeah. What's all this about a two-headed robot? Robot, Pie Face, and you'll see in a minute. Curly, get your boomerang balls ready. Pie Face, load your pie making machine. Oh, crumbs. Exactly. Lock and load, boys. <laughs> Me down. They work. They actually work. Oh, a bit too well. We've got him on the run, Dan. Don't be too sure. My part of the bot is fitted with the latest laser systems. No, it didn't. Your robot painted my treehouse pink. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't be... Hang on. That's it. What's it? Look how we're arguing. All we've got to do is to get the bot to do the same. Hey, Walter Bot, aren't you late handing in your homework? Must go to classroom, hand in homework. No, go to treehouse, have fun. Yeah, you tell him, Denbot. Classroom! Treehouse! You are a complete suicide! You are a total swap! Ignoramus! Twist! Sus! Boy, that was a close thing. Yeah. Trouble is, that's the end of my homework project. Mine too! And I've got a reputation to think of! Stop moaning, Walter! If we start now, we just might get our robot fixed in time for school. Oh, where are Dennis and Walter? Haven't they brought their projects? No, Mrs. Creature. It brought us. I am Denbot. I like school. Have brought Apple for teacher.
Dad. You're right, Dad. Oh, oh me. <sighs> Fighting fit. I used to be top scout in the Beano Town Wolf Pack, you know. Yay! Camping is going to be so cool! So what did you do in the Beano Town Wolf Pack, Dad? It was brilliant, Dennis. Living outdoors, finding our own food, recognising all the different plants and animals. <gasps> really? What's this called? Oh, well, that's a... Uh, uh, that, that, that's a rare specimen, actually. Uh, let, let me What's think. that tree called? Yeah. And that bird? What well, kind of grass is this? What's that, Dad? Stinging nettles? Funny, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Down to my bivouac. Your bivouac? A bivouac is a shelter made from branches, leaves, and moss. Oh, I thought it was just a funny looking tent. Tents are for softies. I made that myself. Name's Tough. Terry Tough. Well, it couldn't have been much good if it broke so easily. Bet my dad could build a better one. Oh, you think so? Yeah, he knows all about that outdoorsy stuff. He was top scout in the Beano Town Wolf Pack. Was he now? I suppose you're an expert at bivy building then. Absolutely. Possibly. Uh, I might have missed that meeting. But, Dad, I, I thought you said... But, yes, I do know a thing or two about the great outdoors. Go on, Dad, you tell him. Really? So, you wouldn't mind proving that then? <laughs> Not at all. This your tent? Yes, but I... <laughs> now, put it back up. I'll build a new bivouac. See who's quickest. <laughs> Looks like one nil to tough, Nasha. <laughs> now, let's see how good you are at fire lighting, eh? Oh. <laughs> it's hard work, this. <laughs> of course, you know how to make herbal tea. I think Dad might have been exaggerating the whole Top Scout thing. <coughs> Not at all. In fact, I'm just getting warmed up. What's next? Way to go, Dad. You tell him. What's next? Oh, I think I've got just the thing. Bring it on. That's Mount Beano. First one to the top and back is the best outdoorsman. Agreed? Agreed! And one other thing. The loser leaves the campsite and never comes back. Well, if that's how you want it, fine. Are you sure you need all this stuff, Dad? <sighs> A Beano Town wolf cub should be prepared for anything. <laughs> See you later. Don't get lost. Wow, he's fast. Dad, we'd better get moving if we want to keep up. Dad? Just checking the direction, Dennis. Now, was it the wet finger into the wind means north? Or... Let's just head for Mount Beano. Or was it see which way the grass blows and divide by the angle of the sun? I can't remember. Ah, oh, well, uh, let, let me think. Dad? <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, 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 back off, Billy! Oh, ah, oh, oh. Ah, oh, 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 Gives me an idea, though. Ha ha! Yee ha! Giddy up! I don't believe it. They're gaining on me. 
but if something was to slow them down, by accident, of course. Ugh. Oh, I'm suddenly very tired. Must be the mountain air. Goodness, was that me? Oops. <laughs> it didn't look so high from down there. Come on, Dad. We're almost at the top. Just don't look down. You're right, Dennis. Don't look down. Mustn't look down. Dad! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,